We're glad you're watching 7 News Live at 5. The manufacturing industry, you may realize, is booming here in the upstate, and that means engineers are in high demand. They are indeed, but nationwide statistics show many students who begin college hoping to get an engineering degree are switching majors. And tonight, 7 News reporter Nicole Ford is talking with Clemson researchers who are hoping, Nicole, to change that statistic. Gordon, there are a number of paths that could lead students to getting an engineering degree, whether it's a technical college or a four-year university like Clemson. But the one thing all these paths have in common is calculus, and it's that course that researchers believe is the problem for the large number of students that are abandoning their engineering coursework. Manufacturing is an ever-growing field in South Carolina. But to be successful, they need a skilled workforce. So we've got companies who are in this state who are saying, we need more engineering professionals, we need more engineering professionals, and we can't provide them with local South Carolina graduates. That's because a large number of engineering majors are not graduating as engineers. Clemson researcher Eliza Gallagher says more than 60% of underrepresented minorities, 69% of two-year degrees, and 37% of four-year degrees don't finish their engineering major. Now, a group of researchers at Clemson is pinpointing why this is happening. Nationally, we know that a student who places below calculus is twice as likely to drop out of an engineering major as a student who starts in calculus. It all goes back to the level of preparedness in math. I didn't score high enough on my CMPT. I think you needed a 65 to be in calculus one, and I kept scoring in the 50s. I took it about four times, and I couldn't get the score that I needed. For engineering sophomore Tierra Green, she's now behind in her coursework and won't graduate on time because of this one math class, and she's not alone. What I'm hoping is by looking in at the data, by seeing what the data tell us about how kids succeed and how kids fail, that we will come up with some new solutions. So with a $300,000 grant and 23 researchers from across the state, the hope is to find this solution by working with universities, K-12 schools, and students in this two-year study. And Gallagher says it's very important to find this solution because a lot of these students are essentially walking away from a six-figure salary at companies that want to grow and nurture them. Stay right here in South Carolina. Live in Clemson, Nicole Ford, 7 News. And yeah, Nicole, this story is hitting me where I live. One of my kids is an engineering major at Clemson. So I, when you say calculus is the problem, is it just that they're not showing up at college with enough of a math background to do it? Yeah, that's exactly the problem. So that's why they're going to be looking at K through 12 schools because it's all about placing them into calculus one when they get here at Clemson's campus. So you have to take four calculuses. And if you're getting into pre-calculus when you start, then you're essentially behind already by one semester. And every one of those classes costs more money too as well. All right, Nicole Ford, thank you.